Hey guys, my name is Ethan, this is Cobra. Welcome to the series where I teach you how to code in Python. And congratulations, you've made it to your first checkpoint. Uh, these checkpoints are going to be dotted through at least the basics. I'm not sure if they're going to be in, in the intermediates or advanced stuff. But these are just little, well, checkpoints, I suppose, to make sure that you actually understand what we've covered so far. So we have covered data types, arithmetic operators, logical operators, collection types, and accepting input thus far. And this is more just a little exercise for you to make sure that you understand it. I'm not going to be marking you or anything like that. If you don't complete uh, checkpoint one without help, no one's going to judge you. Because the whole point of this is to make sure that you understand these concepts fully and that you can do them from your own head before continuing on. So this is just a very simple task. Uh, feel free to ask questions or look back at, at, the, uh, at the previous videos if you do get stuck at a particular point. So, with that in mind, uh, this is the task that I want you to do. It is a simple address book, and when I say a simple address book, I mean a very simple address book. Um, we're not actually storing anything here, we're just kind of uh, taking input and then printing it back out again. So the first thing I want you to do is ask for a contact's name, age, and phone number. So this should be in three separate input statements and should be stored to three separate variables. I want you to then convert the person's age into an integer. Now, while you can uh, take the, the input and then convert it later, what I want you to do is actually convert it while taking the input. So the last video had information on how to do that. The third thing I want you to do is store all this in a dictionary. So you can create a dictionary like this, where you just have the name key, the age key, and the phone key. And you, you can just put like name, age, and phone number in there if you want. Or if you want to be particularly fancy, you can actually do this all in line and append to the dictionary for every input statement. <laughs> so create an empty dictionary to begin with and then add the records as they go along. Uh, however, you don't necessarily have to do it for now, um, but I would, I would recommend making sure that you do understand how to do that. The fourth thing I wanted to do is print the dictionary to the console. So just print it out in raw, just see what it is, make sure everything is correct, and just, yeah, just uh, have a look at what all the values are and everything, and make sure that it's all fine. Next thing I want to do is remove the age from the dictionary and print it. Now, I want you to do this in one line, because this is possible in one line. Um, episode number four, I believe, has all the information you need to do to actually do this, so if you don't remember, then go and have a look at the dictionary section of episode four, because you can do the whole number five in one line. And, the sixth, and then the final thing I want you to do is just to print the dictionary again once the value has been removed, just to make sure that that particular bit has been removed. So that is really simple stuff, checkpoint one. Um, again, if you need help, then don't be afraid to ask. The comments section and the Discord server is there if you need it. However, if you're asking just in the Discord server, oh, how do I do the address book thing, then maybe don't do that. Actually try yourself, look through the videos if you need to, ask questions if you need to, but make sure that you're actually thinking about it and you're able to do this before moving on, is all I'm going to say. So, uh, with that in mind, if you do have any questions, so say if, if there's a particular instruction in this you don't understand, then feel free to leave a comment below and I'll, I'll clarify that for you. Or you can join the the Discord server using the link in the description. While you're down there, I would recommend checking out my social. So I have a Twitter, Facebook, library, and I also have a new Twitch that I do streams and stuff on, so feel free to follow me that if you want. And that's going to do it for this video. I haven't really taught you anything, so I'm not going to do the standard if you liked it, then do this. But um, if you do want to see more videos, then feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And if you're liking the content so far, then really consider supporting me on Patreon. Even if you have just a tiny, tiny, tiny amount, it would be really cool. Of course, you honestly, honestly don't have to. The content is here for free. That's not going to change. In the next video, we are actually going to continue on through the series. So we're going to be talking about understanding errors next time because errors are because understanding errors is pretty much 75% of programming and you really do need to understand that. I did uh, just kind of want to get the very basics out of the way before going into that. But um, yeah, we're going to be doing that next time. So I will see you for that.